All right, welcome back YouTube. This is Kevin with Double D Construction, and we are about to finish oiling these. That's where I left off. I'm not going to do it all on camera just because it's a very tedious process in the beginning trying to fill the whole thing up. Um, quite frankly, uh, for one, the oil is really thick. We're not using regular hydraulic oil. We're actually using 8090, which is gear oil, as per recommended by Thomas, the guy who made these. Um, I just use a basic gear oil. It's Master, Master Pro, straight from O'Reilly's, so nothing major. It's an 8090. Um, and essentially what we're going to be doing is you fill it up through this tiny little port right here. Right here. And you try and get the needle into the hole. Um, you try and get it to the right spot where you can get it farther in so you can put some pressure on the bottle to put the oil in there. Um, sometimes it'll be blocked, so of course then you move the drive back and forth. That's why you're hearing ESC is on right now. Uh, so I can move it back and forth as I need to. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. And then Once I get it oiled, she'll be good to go and ready to run. Um, it takes about 10 milliliters, he was saying, so I'm probably going to go through the majority or at least half of this bottle. Um, the last one, I don't know that I was able to get that far. Really, the thing is, is you've got this line right here. Can't really see it very well, but my finger is able to run along it. That's your fill point, so on a lot of items like transmissions, especially manuals, you'll have this line right at the, at the fill plug. Or you won't, and really what it is, is you fill it up until it just dribbles out, and that tells you there's enough oil in it. Now, I don't know if this is a detail or if that's reality. In real life, that's how you would fill it up. Um, so we may get to that point where I can check it. Um, the last time, and the other one, I kept filling it up until I was basically at the line. Um, but regardless, I just wanted to cover that a little bit. It's Again, it's nothing major. Wanna? trying to get to we'll turn this off we're trying to get to let's see how this isn't going in all the way you want to try and get it farther in and if it won't you can roll it see there we go it popped in a little bit so I'm gonna go tilt it up a little bit and then I'm just gonna squeeze it to try and get oil in there and being that this stuff is really thick, it takes a minute. Now I'm going to pull this back out because I actually want to get a rag under this and all that because it's a little bit of a messy process. Not really too bad if you do it right, but it can be. But I'm going to do it off camera and we'll show you the result when I'm done. Thank you much. We'll see you here shortly. Hello, YouTube. So this is Kevin again. Uh, after now, now after getting this thing lubricated, I can show you how it operates. Essentially, it was me filling it till bubbles were coming up, and then I was going back and forth a little bit. Then I fill it again, and it just kept going until it got to where every time, uh, once I had this level, a flat over here or over here, I'd go back and forth between the two until um, all that was coming out was oil. Um, and another way to do is once you've got everything wiped off and all that is put it at that line and then you drop it a little bit and if it comes out then you know you're about full. So anyways this is the, the drive unit. They're a lot quieter. Um, there is still some wear in that needs to take place but overall I mean, they're going to be really nifty when they're done. Um, they're a lot quieter than the original. So, anyways, I'm super excited to showcase these when I start, start running it. And uh, I'm going to use some wiring stuff, get some things set up, and then we'll jump back on here and we'll start working on the wiring of this thing so we can start getting it put back together and everything hooked up. Alright, I will see you guys here again soon.